Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trademasters. So today we're going to look at a penny stock. The name of the stock is called as IFCI. The full form of this uh, company is called as Industrial Finance Corporation of India and it's a government owned company. It's uh, This particular company is owned by the government of India and it belongs to the non-banking finance uh, segment type of category. So the major uh, you know, purpose of this particular company is to finance activities, government undertaking activities like airports, roads, uh, telecom, power, real estate, manufacturing, service sectors, etc. And et so the overall purpose of this particular company is to finance government aided projects and it is on the long term perspective. So since this is a government uh, owned stock, the, the movement of this particular stock price is not uh, going to be that much volatile. But at the same time, it's going to give us a standard returns because we have a good technical pattern that is formed and we don't have to you know, worry about any default in this particular script because it is owned by the government of India. So maybe not within the next two to three months, but just within a period of one year, I'm expecting a returns of almost 70 to 80 percentage from this particular stock. So since this is a penny stock, I repeat once again, we have to follow the rules that we follow for any penny stock investment. So just invest 20 to 30 percentage of your capital, which you have, uh, you're not, which you are planning to invest in any normal stocks. That is uh, the stock that is both fundamentally and technically really strong. So in that particular stock, if you are planning to invest 1 lakh, then uh, you know, compared to that 1 lakh in penny stock, you need to invest only 20 to 30 percent. That's approximately 20 to 30 thousand per stock. So it entirely depends upon your viewpoint on the market. And I'm just here to provide a, a glimpse uh, of idea how the market is going to react in this particular case for this particular stock. OK, so let's get into the technical chart. So this is a weekly time frame that I'm showing over here. And uh, the first thing what we need, need to do is uh, plot the support and resistance. So the first point of resistance, what I see is here. So this particular zone is going to act as a strong level of resistance. Let me enlarge the chart like this. Yeah. So this particular point is going to act as a strong level of resistance. Over here, the resistance is formed. Once again, the stock could not break this resistance. It came down. And once again, it, we have a fake breakout over here. And once again, it came down. And over here as well, the stock could not break the resistance. It came down. And once again, we have a breakout over here. So since this being a weekly time frame, uh, you know, chart, uh, you, if you are a safe trader, you can wait for the weekly candle to close. So we have almost uh, another two days for uh, trading days left in this particular week for this particular weekly candle to close. So if you are a safe trader, you can just wait for the two days and you can uh, you know enter, take your particular entry once the candle has closed. But in case if you are a risk taker, you can uh, you know add the current market price and you can keep adding a dip still 16 or 15.5 rupees. So 15.5 rupees is going to be the best buying price for IFCI and that is where I'm going to invest almost 60 to 70 percentage of my capital. But since I'm going to be a risk taker in this particular stock at the current market price itself, I'm going to invest almost 20 to 30 percentage and maybe somewhere around 16 or 16.5 I'll invest another 20 to 30 percentage and remaining at 15.5 rupees, I'm going to invest almost 40 to 50 percentage, the left of investment idea. Okay, so this is my uh, investment strategy in IFCI and uh, that is on enterprise so this is purely based on the support and resistance uh, you know criteria we have a clear cut breakout over here but in case if you plot a trend line like this then this particular pattern becomes a ascending triangle pattern so the ascending triangle pattern targets also will be giving it in a sh short while but over here since this is an advanced pattern formation over here and we also have a breakout over here this gives me a dual confirmation that yes IFCI can go up in the near future okay so my enterprise is determined my enterprise is going to be buying dip still 15.5 rupees and uh, coming to the targets my first target is going to be 22 and my second target is going to be 28 so these are the two targets what I've reached for IFCI and stop loss you can keep anywhere below this particular low so the previous low was around 9 rupees per share so somewhere around 8.5 or 8.8 .8, somewhere on that particular point you can keep your stop loss that is going to be a safe level of stop loss okay so my stop loss is determined and coming to the target so this is going to be my best buying zone and this is going to be my final target so i'm going i'm looking at a returns of almost 80 percentage just within a short span of one year not a short span just within a medium term of one year so within a period of one year i'm expecting 80 percentage return so it is beating the index it is beating the fixed deposits by almost approximately eight to ten times right so this is the how much uh, 
uh, you know potential this particular stock has to give at returns of almost 81 percent so i uh, strongly recommend to invest in this particular stock but at the same time just uh, because i'm investing in this stock don't blindly invest in it just do your own due diligence and uh, you know contact a financial advisor and take a support as well and at the same time i repeat this is since this is a penny stock i recommend utmost caution so if you're in case if you're uh, you know if you don't have any surplus capital then i would recommend to skip this particular trade and uh, invest in some stocks that are you know uh, risk free so this is a risky stock but in case if you're a risk taker you can invest some portion of this particular of your surplus capital in the stock and you can enjoy once uh, the stock gives 80 percentage returns okay so this is on the return perspective so 80 percentage is the returns what i'm expecting from uh, ifci and uh, coming to the risk reward so this is going to be my best buying zone and this is going to be my stop loss around this particular point and this is going to be my target so i'm looking at a risk code of almost 1 is to 8.5 so let's round it up and keep it as 1 is to 2 so for a risk of one point my reward is going to be almost two points and overall the risk stop loss over here is uh, going to be 6.7 or 6.8 points and my target over here is going to be almost 12.4 to 12.5 points so that gives us a risk code of 1 is to 2 approximately so yeah that pretty much concludes the technical viewpoint on ifci i hope this video was useful and i hope you learned some important things from this video and as usual if you like my analysis please do click on the like button and if you want to support our channel please do consider subscribing to our channel as well i'll see you guys in the next video with another exciting stock prediction till then it's bye from chris take care bye bye and thank you for watching